This is regular bottled water you can buy anywhere in the supermarket. And I'm going to see if I can change the pH of this water. Original P in order to check the pH of the water, I have a liquid pH tester. When I'm looking at the color of this water, I can tell what pH of the water is. It's a light green, pH somewhere around uh, 6, yellow green. And I'm going to add uh, this colorless, odorless alkaline. Usually I need four drops for a big cup, but just since this is a half cup, I'm going to only put two drops. And you can see the color changes to purple which is a pH 10. Now, for those people who don't believe that adding alkalife will make uh, pH uh, 10, here's the demonstration. Now, if you think this is the magic, let me blow my carbon dioxide from my lungs into this and see if I can change the alkaline water back to acid water. You can see the color chart and see how this color changes. Moral of the story is uh, we shouldn't drink highly acidic cola drinks, carbonated drinks. Our body is constantly trying to get rid of this, breathing carbon dioxide out. Why do you want to put that back in your, in your body? Now, another demonstration is this is a club soda, nothing but water and the carbon dioxide, no calories, nothing. pH of this club soda is, uh, that, as a matter of fact, anything that bubbles is carbon dioxide. It's acid. Now, I'm going to add alkalife into this and to see what, what kind of change I can get it. back to acid. Now if I put alkalife into this water, the one I blew it, this one comes back to alkaline. Now if I add all this alkaline water into this club soda, it comes back to acid. That's how strong number of carbon dioxide in here to make the water back to acid. <laughs>